Hey, scrappers, earthlings, uh, techno hippies, um, fellow permies, whatever you like to call yourselves. For whatever reason you're here, even if it's just to see someone, you know, cutting up little bits of wire into granules, whatever the case may be. As a micro scrapper, probably the next stage to talk about is the amount of steel that you produce. It is It gets to be quite a lot in... Um, uh, when it comes to like uh, pressed steel, they call it. Um, it's actually just the sheet metal steel around uh, the, the things that I pull apart, like microwaves and um, and uh, DVD players and uh, power supplies for um, computers. So that metal in itself is a very low value. However, um, it's it adds up and you've got to deal with it so what i have done is i actually put it aside i actually have a special way that i store it and you need 500 kilograms in australia to before they'll even even think about paying for it so um what i do is i actually put it aside uh store it as condensely as possible and then i've got a street scrapper who's a friend of mine who um and that's a shout out now to polly prophet yeah uh, please have a look at his channel he's an awesome street scrapper and i gotta say that uh i do miss street scrapping and he um i do get uh, quite a bit of pleasure out of watching his his things um also eyb eway span he's an also also another street scrapper that i watch occasionally but i've got a i have organized with um with uh, poly profit that i put all my steel aside and then when i've got enough of it i what i'll do is i'll actually just store it in uh, microwaves so i actually scrap the whole humble microwave and what happens is all the sheet metal ends up in the larger ones and the smaller ones i put in the heavier steel which you get a slightly different price for and the heavy steel is uh, also known as in size it's got to be about three mil thick um roughly uh before it's considered uh in size or um uh what we used to call heavy gauge steel in the old days and so what'll happen is i'll put all those aside and when i've got quite a few i'll uh let uh, polly know and he'll actually pop over and we have a really good arrangement the bartering system is alive and well uh in the sense that he will drop off some um, micro scrapping items that he for whatever reason doesn't want to scrap and it works out quite well so i get more things to scrap and then of course the steel that comes off that he ends up getting back again so it works out quite well he then usually picks this up on a on a steel run so it makes it extremely efficient i love efficiency um my ocd will come out in these videos of course um but uh if you get a chance go and have a look at uh poly profits website uh sorry his uh, youtube channel my apologies and also um yeah don't um don't be scared to check out eway span he's a bit of a legend that man i haven't met him yet but uh yeah i've got a feeling i'll bump into him one day but um uh okay well that covers steel and any questions chuck them in the comments thanks guys